Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I thought I'd share with you guys how I open a pack of origami paper. Um, I have this giant pack of paper here, 300 sheets, and when I normally uh, get a new pack of paper, I usually sit down and first sort it all. Uh, that's just the thing that works better for me so that I know what kinds of colors I have and how many sheets I have left and um, it just makes things a little easier for me personally. And if I've gone through like a half of one and then I, I combine them, I, I still kind of merge them together with what I've sorted out. So it makes it a little easier for me personally to be able to know what I have. Now some people don't mind, you know, sorting through it, but I think it's kind of a pain. Let me show you guys what it looks like. If you, if you open the pack, it's, and I'm really curious to see this. I wish I could go like to the factory and ask them why they do this all the time. I tried to find on the internet why, but I can't find a good answer. But they have a way of organizing the paper here. And um, you can kind of see, I, even though this is a lot, almost all packs of paper go and follow the same similar kind of pattern system. You can kind of see just looking at it from the top here, there's three sections of color. This first section features these colors of red, uh, pink, green, yellow, green, yellow, and peach and orange and brown. And those are the first colors that are shown in this section. And then you get to the next section and that's where you've got the blue, purple, gray, light yellow, per, uh, ter, ter, uh, violet, and <laughs> uh, sky blue, those kinds of colors. All the blues, cool colors, cooler colors on that side. And then at the very end here I have pink, white, and black and that's just randomly at the end, and then a bunch of white, and then if their package does come with it, usually in the very back, there's the uh, foil sheets, there's gold and silver, and then there's red, <laughs> pink, and green, and yellow, I think, are the three colors that are at the end, which is totally random, I don't know why. <laughs> So, um, that to me is hard to find what paper I have, you know, if I need some lots of reds, I have to go through and find them all and take them out. And that's sort of a waste of time. So if I have the time, I like to sort them. So I'm just going to go ahead and sort it really quick here. I'm going to turn my camera on high speed, but maybe it'll look cool. I don't know. I'll decide if I'm going to include it or not later. <laughs> Hold on. So when I'm finished, I have everything all in rainbow order, just because that's the preference of the way I like to see my colors. It makes it easier for me to find things, and I put all my uh, neutral colors in the back so that I can find them when I'm doing things, projects like with uh, people and faces and hair and stuff like that. But um, And then my two extra pieces, you know, I usually just stick them somewhere or try to collect them in a different place just to keep things straight, but that's just one way that you can go through and organize your paper. I think it tends to work nicely though this way for me, just because then I can see what I've got. There's nothing worse than getting started, especially on a modular project or you're making a bunch of something for someone, you want to have like 10 or 15 of them and you get started with red and you realize you don't have enough. So it's nice to have straight away knowledge of how much you've got left in your pack and it just makes things a little easier to see, I think. So um, I hope that this technique is helpful to some of you guys and um, if you have any comments or questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll have some more fun projects to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!